One of the best tips is to start your smoky eye off with an eyeliner base. And sometimes it can get a bit messy, but that's okay. Smoky eyes are gonna get messy and that's the whole fun. So let's start out with this eyeliner. Now this eyeliner is crazy. Once you put it on your eye, it does not come off. So we're gonna blend quickly. This is the MAC Definely Black Eyeliner. Okay, I've sharpened it to a point. And before I even put on a crease color, I'm just going to take my eyeliner and lining with my eyes open, I'm just gonna line all over, creating a nice natural shape to my eye. Now doing the same thing on the bottom lash line, I'm going to take it and just go almost the full way to my tear duct. I like to pull out just a little bit, just in order to elongate my eye just a tad. Taking a flat, eyeshadow brush. This is actually a concealer brush, so you can use whatever is easiest for you to blend. I like something like this because it's easy to control. So you can actually just kind of turn it on its side and you can blend sideways, you can blend upwards. It's an easy brush. So I'm blending in every direction. Doesn't matter, it's gonna get covered up, but I'm pulling up just a bit. Do you see how that's a bit more blown out? It's not just a harsh line anymore. I'm gonna do that now to the bottom again. Now, the secret with my personal smoky eyes is that I actually bring down the shadow quite far on my lower lash line. That's what I really like. You don't have to do that, but that's just an idea. So you can leave it up really close to your bottom lash line, or you can pull it down a bit farther like I've done on this side. I'll leave that up to you, whatever you feel most comfortable with. It's gonna look great either way. I'm going in with my eyeshadow. So starting here, I'm just going to take a little bit of gray and I'm going to take a little bit of this almost like an ivory color. I'm going to mix them together and I'm going directly into my crease. This doesn't have to be a super defined crease because we're going to go back in with a deeper gray, but this is just to kind of start us out, something to kind of give us some shape so that we know where we're going with this. I just go back and forth. I'm pulling out a bit as well because I have a bit of a wide eye, so I'm pulling that out. Now taking a bit of my deepest gray shade, I'm going to start going underneath my eye, just like this. Just gonna thicken up my eye line with this shadow. And like I said, I'm pulling it down nice and far because I like an ultra smoky eye, but you definitely don't have to. I'm also gonna pull it up a bit. So it almost kind of creates like a dip almost like a teardrop. Going back in with the same color and the same brush. Very easy. Then I'm just going back over this eye. The end result should look something like this. An eyeliner that I just placed down and I'm going to blend that out. What a difference that makes. Just a little purposeful blending, that's what we call it. Absolutely changes everything. Gives you such a beautiful seamless eye. And I'm doing the same thing at the bottom. Now doing this blending step, you're just going to have an eye that just looks very harsh. So you wanna make sure that it looks effortless, that it almost is just like one color going into another. Now to brighten, I'm going to take a little bit of this brightening eye stick. I'm just placing it here, right in my tear duct. That just gives me a little extra. And now I just blend it out with my finger. And taking a white eyeshadow or a cream, something that is nice and flattering to your skin tone, I'm gonna to take it on a very tiny little brush here. You can use your finger too if you want. And I'm actually just gonna go right over going right from my tear duct into possibly the center of the eye. Do you see that? That's just gonna brighten my eye. That's gonna give me a little bit more dimension than just having a full black or gray smoky eye. And blend that out. Much more bright, I really like that. Going back in with my dark gray shadow, I'm just pressing that right here on the edge of my eye, right through my crease, sticking right to the edge of my eye. I'm not going any further than this. Take a gray eyeliner or your same black eyeliner. I'm using something that's a little bit more precise just to go through my waterline and go in between any of those little lashes that didn't get coated by the eyeliner the first time. Lining your inner rim, I think it just gives your smoky eye a little something extra. I really like doing that if I wanna go for a nighttime look. Going back in with my deepest gray shade and my Katana Fude brush from Shiseido. This brush is super cool because it looks like a little blade almost. And what you're able to do, get very, very close to your lash line and I like that. So I'm going to take my gray shadow and reline. I know what you're thinking, not again, but I'm telling you just building your shadows and your liners on a smoky eye is the best tip. I wish I would have known that many, many years ago, but it makes all the difference. It gives you so much longevity with your shadow. 
It will last so much longer. Look at that. That's a great base. That's very good. Done with the fun part. So go ahead and add your mascara. I like to add two or three coats anyways. So when I have a smoky eye, I like to go in with maybe two or three different mascaras just to give me a lot of dimension. And I want you to still be able to see my lashes. And sometimes with a dark shadow, you can't. So I go in and I just make sure that they're all nice and separated, that I have a lot of drama with my lashes and it just makes it so much better. Now it's time to go in with your finishing touches. So go ahead and line more if you want to add more depth, go ahead and add a little bit more black shadow if you want to. It just all depends on how you want your look to turn out. That I like to do after each smoky eye is I just take a clean brush and I just go back through and just blend what I can, see if there's anything else that I can improve upon, and then I touch up. So I'm taking my Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer. This is the shade 102 Fair, and I just place it on the back of my hand like this. This is a very lightweight fluid concealer, so it's not gonna really add too much coverage. But what it is going to do is it's going to clean up any of that little fallout, any little areas where my shadow might have gathered on the bottom of my eye, and it just kind of makes my, my liner look a bit cleaner. Now, if you are going for more of a grungy effect, skip this step because it can be a little bit more messy and that's perfectly fine, and that's how I love my, my smoky eyes. But if not, you can see how that just brightens the under eye. It just takes away some of that shadow that's naturally cast from having dark eyeliner and eyeshadow on. I'm gonna take a little bit more and let's just do this side. Start right underneath here and just kind of go up a bit. You can create an invisible line just going right above your ear. Then I might even go a little bit here if I have any fallout or on the side of my nose. I always seem to get shadow on there. Just a great way, it's almost like housekeeping. It's a great way to just kind of finish up the look, just clean it up a little bit and just make sure that it's gonna look really effortless. That's it, a beautiful smoky eye. It really only takes a few minutes and you can customize it to what makes you look the most flattering and to what type of look you're going for. If you're going for something super grungy, make it really grungy, really go for it. If you're looking for something more clean and crisp and classic, go ahead and follow these steps. I mean, it's so easy, really. You just need one palette and a few brushes and you'll be good to go. So much for watching, I really appreciate it. And please, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate having your friendship and having your company here on this channel. And go ahead and leave a comment too. Tell me how you liked this tutorial and if it was helpful to you. I would appreciate that as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all at Mallory Osses. And I'll see you guys next time. Love ya!